Now we will talk more about the relation between decidability and recognizability. In fact, we have talked about it, but let's make sure that we fully understand the difference between decidability and recognizability. So we have, uh, in previous lectures, we, say that we said that a Turing machine decides problem uh, let's call it problem A, if for every string that belongs to A, uh, a Turing machine, let's call it M, decides problem A, if for every string that belongs to A, M accepts, and for every string that belongs that does not belong to a m rejects so this is decidability it will uh, accept or reject now what about recognizability so if we if we change the sides to recognizes How would we change this definition? For every string that belongs to A, M accepts. For every string that does not belong to A, what happens? M rejects. Or loops, yeah. So M rejects or loops forever. So, decidability is uh, you know, given a string, there is a Turing machine for deciding a language. If, if the string belongs to the language, it's going to accept. If it rejects, it's going to reject. If it doesn't belong to the language, it's going to reject. While recognizability means if a string belongs, it will accept. But if it doesn't belong, it will either reject or loop forever. So a recognizer may not terminate within finite time. A decider terminates within finite time. A decider makes a decision. A recognizer recognizes, it recognizes what belongs to the language, but if you give it something that doesn't belong to the language, it may loop forever. It may not give you an answer within finite time. Okay. Now, if, what's interesting is that if a language, if both the language and the complement of the language are recognizable, then the language is decidable. So, a language A is decidable if and only if, if and only if A is recognizable. And the complement of A is recognizable. The complement of A is recognizable can also be phrased as A is co-recognizable. <laughs> Excuse me. So when we say A is co-recognizable, it means that the complement of A is recognizable. Now why is this the case? If you have, if you can, if you have a recognizer for the language and a recognizer for the complement, then you can build a decider for the language. It's like a, a decider. decider for A would just run if you have a recognizer and a co-recognizer you can build a decider okay run the recognizer recognizer 
for a and run the recognizer for a complement in parallel. So a decider for a language, if you have a recognizer for the language and a recognizer for the complement of the language, right, you can decide the language. You are guaranteed to terminate within finite time. Why? Why is that? <coughs> Given any string, so if there is any input string, string w, a string will either belong to the language or its complement. Because by definition, the complement of the language has all the strings that are in sigma star but are not in that language. So a string will get recognized by either this or this. So we are guaranteed if there, there is a recognizer for A and a recognizer for A complement, we are guaranteed that one of them is going to recognize W in finite time. Okay, so if you, if you call this machine uh, R and R1 and this is R2, so either R1, since, okay, let's say, since W uh, must belong to either a or a complement, then either R1 or R2 will recognize W and terminate in finite time. one of them is going to recognize it. And when one of them recognizes it, you make a decision. So if R1 recognizes it, you accept. If R2 recognizes it, you reject. Right, so this is the, you know, the algorithm for uh, building a decider using uh, two recognizers. So if a language, if A has both a recognizer and a co-recognizer, the following algorithm can decide A. So, algorithm or Turing machine M run the recognizer R1 for uh, A and the recognizer for the recognizer R2 for a complement in parallel. If R1 accepts accept, if R2 accepts reject. So this tells us, oh, this tells us that if, uh, you know, in order for a language to be decidable, it has to be recognizable and co-recognizable.